When someone dies unexpectedly, it's always a tragedy. So I was sad to read at the weekend of the death of the American daredevil, Mad Mike Hughes, who was killed when he crashed his home-built rocket in the desert. Now, by all accounts, he was something of a character. He had the world record for the longest ever limousine jump. He was also a prominent member of the Flat Earth community. In fact, the first ever video I did on Flat Earth was when he flew his rocket to a height of 570 metres. And at the time, I think I pointed out, he may as well have just walked up a big hill. But the rocket itself had flat earth painted on the side. It may as well have had Acme. Because building a home-built rocket in the desert, that's some Wiley Coyote-style shit. But at least he was trying. Now, I believe anyone that thinks the earth is flat is a deluded halfwit. But he must have known a lot about engineering and physics to construct a steam-built rocket. Whereas most flat earthers, I wouldn't trust them to check my tyre pressures. They'd probably let them down, then go, oh, you thought your tyres were round, we've just proved that they're flat. But with Flat Earth getting so much attention in the news, the theories are getting wilder and wilder. In the last week, I saw one guy trying to explain there's no such thing as gravity because of magnets. And that's it. That's as in-depth as he actually went. I've got no idea what he's on about, but more to the point, nor is he. Another guy saying that every scientist in the world is actually a Satanist, uh, covering up God's truth. Every scientist? My high school chemistry teacher was a nervous man who jumped when the door opened. I seriously doubt he's in league with the devil. And if you are a scientist and people start calling you a Satanist, don't worry, those of us that listen to heavy metal have had it for years. But of course, many flat earthers are also Christian fundamentalists. And because there's nothing in the Bible to say the earth is round, they assume it must be flat. Now, as far as religious fundamentalism goes, I'll take that. A few halfwits not understanding basic science is much better than people strapping on suicide vests and detonating themselves in crowded areas. In fact, if you look at the proper high-end fundamentalism, Christians have got the flat earthers, Islam has got the whole death to the West suicide bombers, and both religions seem to be inappropriate with children. It's like the other world religions aren't even trying. Hindus, when's the last time you did something fucking mental? Anyway, I've gone off topic. Mad Mike... Godspeed and rest in peace, sir. Although, ironically, flat earthers deny evolution and space, and it looks like he's going to win a Darwin Award.